If you enjoy watching Common Ground online, please consider making a tax-deductible donation at lptv.org. Lakeland Public Television presents Common Ground, brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. I think live music is important because I've noticed, especially for doing shows for kids, there's just nothing more inspiring for them to see someone holding a guitar or a violin or a cello and giving their gift of music to them. And I think just that seeing it, it's different from a video, it's different from listening to a song on the radio. It makes a real impact. My name is Amanda Grace. I'm a singer-songwriter and I'm here at the Boys and Girls Club of Bemidji just going to put on a short concert for the families and their kiddos. My family is here. We just spent uh, the 4th of July in the Brainerd area and just thought it'd be a great opportunity to uh, make some more friends, I guess. Hi guys! How are you? I'm Amanda Grace. Aren't we lucky to be outside today? That's so awesome. Super nice day. I'm gonna sing you a new song. It's called Music Makes It Right. Hey you guys, before we get started, let's always show our manners and our appreciation by giving a huge shout out. Let's go whoop, 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 whoop to Nate, our sound guy. Ready? Whoop, 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 whoop. Are you guys ready? All right, let's have some fun. You can jump to your feet on this one if you like to dance. I started tinkering around on the piano as young as four or five and I started probably noodling out some of my first little songs. And that's my primary instrument. I love the piano. Even now I see one and I just get all excited. And in college I just picked up the acoustic guitar. When the rain's pouring down, when the rain's pouring down, and I need to lift up my soul, I'll grab my guitar and sing myself a song. You say music makes it right. Say if I'm writing songs to make kids happy, then I, I want to perform for them. I think about being a kid, I think about my own kids, for children and for the love song stuff, I just think about my experience. I'm happily and luckily married to a wonderful guy and he's my rock and so a lot of the songs that I've written are just sort of based off of my own reality and reflections, I guess. La, 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 la. When I'm writing a song, usually what happens is the music comes to me first, but that's not always the case. I've had the pleasure of teaching some young writers conferences and I talk a lot about writing titles and how when you're sort of in a dry spell, writing a creative title can get you started on whatever you're working on. Sometimes I'll just get a title idea and then kind of sit down and when I have some time carve out some space to use that title as the theme of the chorus and then writing verses that and a bridge that connect to that idea. How many of you are kind of crazy like me and like unicorns? Okay, perfect. I am at the right place. Right there, that little girl right there, help me write this song. People keep trying to give me this advice that I need to just pick a genre, but I keep remembering my childhood dream, which was a funny one. I had a radio station that was an imaginary one called Any Kind of Music, and I made up my own um, jingles, songs, and even wrote news stories because I that's just what I did and so I, when I came back and started the children's CD I just thought you know I guess I'll do kid stuff and then I didn't think that I would do anything else and then all of a sudden my sister went through this this other this whole other part of a darkness in her life and so then I was just feeling like I was writing all this other stuff so it, it had to be I felt like it had to come out whether it made sense to others or not they will see the world and we'll see the world on your back on your back, I will know just where to go. I hope.
hope when I tour to just do to do both the children's show and stuff for the adults too. And I'm actually working on some new surprises for a totally different genre next. So. <laughs> Say do 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 do, la di da do 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 do. Say la di da do 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 do. Say la di di da. I'll be walking down the street with the sun beaming down on me. If I get tired, I'll lay down and sleep. On a some summer day, on a some summer day. If it's hot, I'll stay in the shade. I could make my own lemonade. I could sell some and give the rest away. On a some summer day, I like that. On a some summer. Well, I think we're pretty lucky now with cell phones that have video and re recording abilities. I try to keep my cell phone with and I am doing more where I'll have my guitar and just record and sing right into it so I don't forget it. But I do always write stuff down, just scratch it down on paper too just so I don't forget. And carving out time to songwrite as a mom and other responsibilities has been important but I try not to put too much pressure on myself because it, life is busy and family comes first and so usually if I'm paying attention I'll find a little window of time to kind of get my thoughts out on paper. great as long as I'm with you better than a thousand shades of blue say on a some summer day again on a some summer day say everything we know everything's okay everything everything's okay good singing we say everything's okay on a summer day hey Well, as a kid, I was a big fan of Mariah Carey, and I would try to sing like her. Vocally, that's what she inspired me. Um, also, the Cranberries was one of my favorite groups. She writes a lot of songs about, or she did, about a war and what it, what it does to children and what, you know, what, is our, what our responsibility is. We just know more and more. We know what's going on. What, what can we do, and how can music change that? Say la di da da more time, say do Say la di da do 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 do. Say la di da do 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 do. Say la di di da on a summer day. Thank you. You guys were awesome. I'm gonna give you guys a round of applause. <laughs> I'm going to play a song that's a little bit sad, but it kind of, it ends up in a, you know, it's kind of like a movie. Sometimes they start a little bit sad, but then they get better, right? Well, that's some of the songs I wrote are sort of like a movie that ends well. And this song is was inspired by my nephew Bryce, who had leukemia. And I felt like this is his song that I had to write for him. It goes like this. As I will look for today's rainbow although it's raining it could still be peeking out behind the shadows of this half sunny half cloudy day i have started out my music journey by doing a children's cd called trains cars and a trip to mars in memory of my nephew bryce who had passed away of leukemia and was sort of an inspiration to me. I hadn't taken my career very seriously and just sort of enjoyed it, but then became a stay-at-home mom and just sort of life, life takes you um, through an interesting path. And then I 
was inspired also just kind of by being writing kids songs and writing lullabies for my kids that some of their stories are also on that CD. I didn't know if I would continue recording but I started to perform for kids a little bit in 2010 when it was done and then I started writing a lot of love songs and the same sister who lost her son to leukemia then lost her husband to a sudden brain aneurysm. So there's some songs on that CD which is called Embrace which is sort of like acoustic rock and those songs are inspirational love songs and um, some of a couple of favorite cover songs. For today's rainbow, though it's raining, it could still be peeking out behind the shadow of this half sunny, half cloudy day. So I just have been kind of performing for for kids and also this love song stuff and then I just started a women's band about two years ago called Wildflower and we do contemporary folk so really just a mix of things and it's keeping me on my toes. Say I will look for today's rainbow although it's raining it could still be peeking out behind the shadow of this half sunny, half cloudy day. And although I know you'll say that things will give me doubt, but I choose to view every day of my life through Got the drum, is it sitting there? So this is that one that goes, I will sing, sing a new song today. Okay, so one, two, ready, play. Okay, sing with me. Say I will sing, sing a new song today. Can you say that? have decided the last year or two as the kids are getting a little older and are wanting to be more involved with the shows. They are coming along with me to, I'd say half of them if, it's, if it works for everybody. I am trying not to burn them out too much. I've tried to not be too pushy about it, but now our son is starting to play drums a little bit. He played at Rochester Fest and that was so fun and, and a great experience as a mom. And now he wants to be my merch guy and he's sitting there covering the table. So he feels, he feels like he's carrying a responsibility too. So it's a real pleasure. It was harder when they were little and when you have toddlers, they're just everywhere and trying to keep them out of the cord bags and from yanking a mic stand over, it's not easy. Dance, dance a new dance today. For my tours the last year, I've decided to kind of do a new direction. My kids are getting older and more active in sports and every parent knows that stage of the game. And so what I'm doing is we are kind of saying, hey, we want to visit Mount Rushmore. So for instance, in a couple of weeks, we're going to go see the sites and I'll be doing a couple of shows on the way. And then other than that, I'll stay locally, regionally. And when I do like a conference, for instance, I'll just try to get a couple shows while I'm in the area, kind of to make the most of it. And so to kind of balance that being gone too much thing at night. Say I will paint a new picture. For independent musicians, we need other people's help. It's just like any other business. It's really word of mouth and people sharing your stuff on Facebook, following you, Instagram, just connecting and really finding your way forward through others is really what it's about. And I find that every year that goes by, I find more and more support from my family, friends, fans, and I am very overwhelmed by all that, that love, so.
If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org.